What's going on fellow backpackers? My name is Dan and I am back on the trail. It has been so long since I last went backpacking, ever since the pandemic started. Not since early February have I gone backpacking, so I am so happy to be back doing this trip. I'm back in the Manistee National Forest doing the Manistee River Loop, which uh, last time I was here was just about a year ago, last June. And uh, this time I am solo. My wife Casey is at home with our kid. So I am going backpacking alone. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. Perfect for backpacking. A high of 72 degrees today and perfectly sunny. You cannot get any better than that. And because of that, there are more cars in the parking lot than I have ever seen. And uh, last year I was a bit nervous about trying to get a good premium campsite close to the river. Uh, but this year I'm definitely, definitely worried about that. So we'll see what uh, the campsites were like. I was thinking about maybe switching up my routine and hiking counterclockwise and doing the Manistee River Trail first this time. But I decided not to because I really like to save the best for last. So I'm hiking on the North Country Trail side right now, and I'm just going to cross my fingers that there's a decent campsite tonight. And this trip was actually Casey's idea. We were Having just one of those weekends, last weekend as you can imagine, being cooped up together for three solid straight months. And she, uh, she looked at me and she said, Dan, you need to go backpacking next weekend. She knows me so well. So I mentioned in some of my recent videos that starting last year, I switched to hammock camping. But this is the first trip video that I'm recording since I made that switch. So I will be sure to show you all the hammock choices I made once I get to camp. And uh, I will say that I have loved every single moment of hammock camping. Oh my God, it is so much better than sleeping on the ground in my opinion. I mean, there is just nothing to complain about when you've got weather like this. This is now my, uh, I want to say it's my fifth time doing the Manistee River Loop. And this is by far one of my favorite Chicagoland hiking destinations. It's it's so pretty and it's it's rugged enough to be fun but not not crazy. And uh, there's just so much to like about this loop. Perfect, perfect overnight trip. Hey there, Froggy. Well, this has been some really pleasant hiking so far. Like I mentioned, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, except for a, a really steep section right at the beginning near the uh, Upper River Road Trailhead, the rest of it is relatively flat. And, uh, oh man, this is just so unbelievably pleasant. Whew. Never mind about what I said earlier. It got hard again. Oh man, I kind of forgot how hard hiking can be. Oh, why do I do this stuff? 
so many people on the trail today, it's kind of hard to find a moment to stop and pee. Especially with me wearing this really white pack. I stand out like a, like a clown at a funeral. Well, I just passed Eddington Creek, so I should be near the Manistee River Trail pretty soon. And I am not too hopeful about getting my preferred campsite tonight. There are already a lot of people camped out here at the creek, which I've never really seen before, at least not this many. And like I said, there are so many people on the trail today. So I might not have to be, uh, might have to not be too picky about my campsite selection tonight. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite views of the Manistee River Loop. Oh, what an unbelievably gorgeous day. So far, no campsite. Still have not yet gotten to the one that I really want to stay at. But uh, I, like I said before, my, my hopes are not too high on that. So we'll see how far I have to walk until I find something that's uh, campable. While I'm at camp, I did not get the campsite that I wanted, unfortunately. But take a look at this. <laughs> this one's way better. Look at that amazing view. Wow. <laughs> I am not going to complain about this. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, there is no direct access to the river. So I do have to go down a little ways to go back and get some water. But uh, that's all right. I get to sit down, so I'm happy. Well, I promised I would show you all the hammock stuff, so it is all set up, and this is what I decided to go with. I've got the Hammock Gear Dyneema Composite Fiber Tarp uh, with doors, and I went with the uh, the War Bonnet Blackbird. This is the original Blackbird, not the XLC. I'm 5'7", so I don't really need the XLC, and I kind of just decided to uh, to go with the Blackbird because it's so popular, and I didn't really know what I was doing necessarily with hammock camping, so... I just went with something that everybody else goes with. And uh, for the underquilt today, I have the Enlightened Equipment Revolt. This is a 40 degree. Uh, it's supposed to get down to about 45 tonight. And I have used this down to maybe, I don't know, 37, 38, and it's worked great. So it um, should be just fine with that. And uh, my top quilt, I have the Enlightened Equipment Revelation. Uh, this is a 10 degree, so it's definitely overkill for tonight, but um, the only other thing I have is a uh, like a Costco quilt, and that's good to about 50, maybe 45 if I'm wearing a jacket, but kind of at the point of my backpacking career that <laughs> I'm just choosing comfort over saving a few ounces, so I figured just bring the uh, the extra warmth. Oh, I do want to take a moment to just address what's been going on in our nation recently. I know a lot of people are feeling a lot of things right now, and rightfully so, because, you know, what 
what happened to George Floyd was just wrong on so many levels. And uh, I've been feeling a lot of things over the past week or so. Um, but, but one of them is the fact that when, when he did die, I, I was not surprised <laughs> that, you know, that this has happened before and unfortunately it's probably going to happen again. Um, but, but isn't that the, the true sign of a real problem when we're no longer surprised by tragedy? But, but I will say that it, it does, things do feel differently this time. They just feel different. And I really hope that this will lead to some lasting change, both systemic change in our institutions and also change in our hearts. And now it is time for the best part about backpacking. Bacon jerky. Oh man, it has been way too long since I've indulged in the bliss that is bacon jerky. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. That will never get old. And on tonight's menu, we have Parmesan mashed potatoes with Spam. That should be delicious. So I am boiling some water right now. And in the meantime, enjoying my beloved appetizer of bacon jerky. Ah. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is Ditto. Hey, Ditto. This is my camp neighbor. And that's Liz over there. Ditto's owner. What, what do you smell in my food bag? Huh? I think, he's, I think he smells the bacon jerky. So Ditto is, you said, 12 years old? 12 years old, so that is probably older than I am in dog years. But you did, what'd you say, seven and a half miles today? That's pretty good for a 12-year-old dog. Yeah, she pushed me the whole way. Good for you, Ditto. <laughs> well, it's about 8.40, and I realized one downside about this beautiful campsite. There is virtually no firewood to be found, and I am just too lazy to go scouring through the trails to uh, find some firewood. So, no fire tonight. Uh, but that's okay. I would much rather gaze into this beautiful, beautiful view. Whew. There's also not a whole lot of privacy at this campsite, so it <laughs> be interesting to see what pooping will be like in the morning. So I've been using this little Accurite thermometer. It's actually a window thermometer that you stick a, uh, comes with a little suction cup that goes in right here, but it's super small and super light. And it has a, a min and a max, which is really what I, I wanted in a thermometer. Um, it was not 126 degrees today. That was just from it being in the sun. Whew, that would be hot. Um, but, but, but I like this just so I know what the overnight low is especially. And it kind of helps me better dial in what, uh, what my sleep system should be going forward. Uh, but the only thing I don't like about this is there's no button to reset this. You just have to take out the little battery compartment. We'll see if I can do this with one hand. Ah! There. And that shuts it off. And stick it back in. And it'll reset. It's on a 24-hour uh, cycle. Um, so after 24 hours, the min and the max will reset again.
Well, you never believe it by how light it still is outside, but it is 9.40. So I'm going to stay in the hammock and watch a little bit of a documentary. I downloaded a, a World War II documentary, of all things. But I am somewhat of a World War II history buff. I just cannot get enough of World War II documentaries. So I'm going to kick back and watch a little of that and then try to doze off. I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Oh, man, I gotta say, this is probably the most comfortable I have ever been in this hammock. So cozy last night. I'm really glad that I brought this uh, warmer quilt, though. Um, I'd be curious to see what the overnight low actually was. But, uh, yeah. Just glad I brought the warmer one. Well, it's about 7 o'clock, and I've just been laying here for a while, staring out at the gorgeous view. But, ugh, I still have bacon jerky left, so it's time to get up and start eating. I had some oatmeal for breakfast, which I did not film because I didn't think you'd care about watching me eat oatmeal. But I gotta say, you know, I have oatmeal pretty much every day at home. And it's fine. I like it just fine. But I hate it. <laughs> backpacking. I don't know what it is about it, but I just do not like eating oatmeal when I'm backpacking. Uh, I gotta just buy a big box of Pop-Tarts or something. So I'm enjoying some tea with my view. And I'll start packing up pretty soon and heading back to the car. So I don't think I ever showed you my handiwork on my pot handles here. Um, so I, I took some uh, acrylic tubing, which I, I think silicone might work better, um, but I could only find acrylic at the time. And I just put some acrylic tubing around here to insulate these uh, these handles a little bit so I didn't have to use something separate to, uh, to pick them up. Um, but <laughs> they, they completely melted and fused to these handles. And it actually happened from my, uh, from my stove. Um, I think that the wick on my stove was up too high one time, this, uh, this little wick here, and uh, that made the, the flames on the stove super high. They were just going crazy, and they completely melted my, uh, my little pot handle holders here. Um, so yeah, now they are completely bonded to these, and I can never get them off, so... <sighs> Shame on me for trying to improve things. I'm all packed up and ready to go, but I don't want to go. <laughs> I just want to stay here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at that. A blue jay. Or a bluebird or something. <gasps> Man, this campsite is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ugh, but I gotta go. All right. We're heading back on the trail. Oh, one last look. Oh. So gorgeous. So it's going to be another gorgeous day. A little warmer than yesterday, but still perfectly sunny. Oh, what a what a weekend for backpacking. My god. This is so nice. And I know I've said this before, but I'm going to say it a lot. Ah, oh, this feels so good to finally be back out here after so long. Wow. I really really needed this. If you're interested in a health report, I, uh, I have been trying to stay in shape these past few months since the pandemic started. I, I typically go to a gym 
because I find that paying all that money for a gym membership kind of motivates me to actually use it. But uh, obviously, since that has been closed, I have not been going to the gym. So I uh, started to take, uh, take up running again, or at least kind of. <laughs> I admittedly have not gone nearly as often as I should. Because you know what? Running sucks. Oh my God. Oh, it's so awful. Oh, who the hell enjoys running? Ugh. So I am not in nearly as good of shape as I would like to right now. And uh, my, my, my left calf in particular is kind of bugging me. I injured it during a day hike in the Smokies about six months ago and it healed so I thought it was fine. But apparently not, because it is acting up again. Well, I've only been hiking for about an hour and I'm already taking a break, but that is something that I did not do nearly enough of yesterday. And I just happen to have an other beautiful view. So why not? So I realized it was actually about a year ago on this same exact trail that I first pondered getting into hammock camping. We were uh, seriously talking about getting into hammock camping. And like I said yesterday, I am so glad that I did. Uh, I find it so much more comfortable than sleeping on a sleeping pad on the ground. And I'm not quite sure exactly what I did right last night, but I got the most comfortable sleep in a hammock that I have had to date. It was just the absolute perfect lay. Wish I knew what I did correctly, but man, hopefully I can repeat that in the future. So as I stopped to get some water here at Cedar Creek, um, some guy pointed my pack and asked me how the, the sleep was on that thing. I had no idea what the hell he was talking about, so I said, huh? And he asked me again how the sleep was on that. And still had no idea what he was talking about, so I eventually just said, good. But I, I think he was talking about my uh, my sit pad. <laughs> he, uh, must have thought that I slept on that little thing. Nope, not gonna happen, but he called me a trooper. So, feel kind of cool about that. That's pretty cool. Those are frogs, in case you don't know. Well, not too much further to the car. I made it back to the road, crossing over the Manistee River right now. Now, I do know that there's a section between the Upper River Road trailhead and the, uh, the Red Bridge uh, parking lot where I always get turned around and go the wrong way. But I've done this enough times now where I, I think I know where it is. So I'm going to be on the lookout for it and make sure that I, for once, actually go on the right trail. I'll keep you posted. And actually, I think I found it already. So it's extremely confusing because there is a, a white blaze right there, and it looks like this would be the trail, but I, I'm almost certain that this is actually the trail. And, and like I said, it is, uh, it, it is almost immediately after you... Uh, uh, you enter back into the woods off of the uh, the street. So we'll see if I'm right. I'm pretty sure I am. But uh, wouldn't be the first time that I thought I was right and I was actually wrong. Yes, yes I am. I am correct. 
I see another blaze. Ha ha. See? Right there. Well, I am just about back to the car and it could not come too soon because my legs are so sore. So as always, be sure to stick around for some bloopers, but much, much more importantly, like I was saying yesterday, let's all do a better job of treating each other with respect. If the current state of our society has taught us anything, it is the fact that living with hate in our hearts leads to injustice. And even if you're the type of person who does not openly live your life with hate, be sure to stay humble and challenge yourself from time to time to make sure that you're not making negative assumptions about other people. Well, thank you so much for following along on this much needed return to backpacking. And the next time you're able to get out there on a trip of your own, have fun out there. Do not come soon to the little, little, little. Uh, the, what was it? What? Eh, well, you don't care, do you? You just don't care. I don't even care. Do I need to say that? That was worth recording. Uh, I'm gonna get hit by a car. You can see the, uh, the, the wind kind of rushing past the water there sometimes. Of course, you're not gonna see it right now. <sighs> I think I'm gonna set my pants on fire. Oh, <laughs> whatever.